Okay. <clears throat> How is everyone doing? My name is Kurt. I'm a dad who draws. And uh, usually, usually we draw on uh, Mondays and Wednesdays. But uh, this, uh, this picture came up in uh, our Facebook group today that somebody, oh, I should have, I should have written the name down. Yeah. I'll find out. I'll post their name in the link. Uh, they asked if someone could show them how to do this. And uh, I have a free night. I thought that would be uh, a good use of my time to um, draw this, to show you how to draw um, this uh, marina. And it happened so fast I forgot to even to figure out where this marina is, but I will. <laughs> as soon as we're done here, I'll look that up. But anyhow, so let's um, let's take a look at this because one thing is I, I like some of the different angles that are going here. One thing I did is I extended the sky to a little be a little bit taller. Um, and uh, let's let's get into it and we'll see uh, we'll see how we go here, okay? So first thing I always like to do, make sure I'm on its own layer here, is I like to start with some type of border, border treatment. I don't know, it's just the way I do these things. It tends to uh, just kind of bring everything into, uh, into view and gives me some framework to work from, okay? Uh, so let's get this, uh, kind of let's get this thing going here. Um, First thing I like to do is some type of gesture. So, and this has some very strong lines. So first thing I'm looking for is familiar shapes. And if you come up here, let's just say, I'm, I'm gonna enjoy, adjust my composition just a little bit here. So we have this dot coming in here. I've got this That's going to be my buildings that are coming in there. Okay. Now, let's take a look at, let's try and get some of the um, uh, boats in here in place. But before I draw them, I want to get some sense of proportion. So one good way to do this is if I look at this picture just like this, I put two dots in the corner. If I put a dot in the center there, and I'm going to put a dot right where the uh, where those two uh, the dock or the break breakwater. No, that's not really a breakwater. It's well the sidewalk there area comes in contact with the uh, with the water. So let me kind of put those marks down on my page here. So when I look at this, I can if I run a vertical line through here, this gives me a good sense of how big that boat, that first boat needs to be. So I'm going to run a vertical line right in here. And I'm only going to think of at this point, I'm going to extend it here. Almost like if you were going to draw an iron, you know, an iron, of course, looks like this. If I hold the iron up, it looks like that. It's, it's kind of generally the shape of a boat. So that's a, that actually is a good shape to try and get um, as a basis to start to build upon. Okay, so then the sailboat, look at that sailboat right next to me here. And that sailboat's coming out like this. It's also going right over the edge of that boat. It's coming in here. And look at this now. This is interesting. I'm going to put this on a new layer so you can see it. 
when, when I'm drawing something, what I'm looking for, I'm looking for these three things here. Let me show you. When I'm starting to put work on my composition, I'm using shape and I'm using horizontal and vertical lines. Vertical lines, okay? Let's see, let's bring these two together here. All right, so where's a vertical, how, how do I use a vertical line? Well, look at this here. Am I on the right layer? Yeah. This is a vertical line. So that, that sailboat is almost, I mean, that's a horizontal line. That sailboat is, is very flat, but it also has this slight angle here, okay? So let's put that shape in here, and that's going to help us get the right proportion. So I'm, I'm here, and I'm just kind of putting a general shape. Okay. Okay, now if I go above that, I can see that there's another boat cropping in here like this, right? And then I've, I've got this guy over here, and I'm just, right now, I'm just kind of trying to get my proportion right. Okay, that little blue boat. That little blue boat is way up here, and how, <clears throat> how big is that? That's pretty small, so we want to make sure... We want to make sure that we make him small for size, scale-wise. All right, and I got my red boat over here. Same thing here. Let's just kind of So all I'm, <clears throat> all I'm doing at this point is just trying to get the general area and uh, get generally the shapes. All I'm just looking for shapes right now. All right, I'm going to put the, this, uh, uh, wall the seawall right there okay now as i'm looking at that uh background let's look let's take a look at this here so i i've just i've just drawn that seawall and you can see where that's at i kind of i have this line and you can see that also in my picture But now we've got this great road. It looks like a road. It looks like a road. So this is going to have a curve. You see that? And then I'm going to have another, another curve here. So these, these are the shapes that I'm seeing in my mind, okay? Let's get those in next. A little bit higher, like that, maybe. Okay, now look, look where this is. This is past center. So let's make sure we bring that past center there. So there's, there's a shape up there. Okay, I'm going to erase some of this here. 
Okay, look at this house. Wow, how are we gonna draw this house? Well, I would start whenever, whenever I see any type of house that is, um, uh, that I'm drawing, I always approach it the same way. I will look for the corner that's closest to me, like this, and then I'll look for a straight there and a straight there. And those are the first three lines that I'll put in without even worrying about perspective or anything. I want to, I really want to get the width correct here. So there's that. And these are all going to be vertical. Okay, so let's just say that's the height, not counting the roof. It looks like this is going to come down just a little bit. This is going to fan out the other way, just ever so slightly. Kind of get an idea where that roof line is. And there you go. We have a tree in the background there. Other buildings, and I'm just going to think of shapes here. So all I'm doing right now is just <clears throat> starting to, to get my composition down. And looking for my shapes. I'm going to erase, I'm going to erase these lines now. Give me a, a chance to get caught up a little bit. Okay, so just remember, we go from large shape to small shape, and then we start thinking of our composition and getting things, uh, getting things to a point where we can transfer into construction, okay? Okay, so let's start with this guy back here, and I'm kind of... You know, I, I, I started the top of them almost like a uh, an iron. It's a good way to start. I have some uh, structural, some thickness to this boat. Let's go ahead and draw the cabin. The cabin now this this line right there is going to parallel this line there. Okay. This line back here is going to be vertical. And then this this is going to come back as well. Again, shape is all we're starting to 
if you think of drawing almost like you are carving wood, how would you carve wood? That's a good way to think of it, actually. Okay, look at this U taper, U shape here. This this line for the sailboat has a U feel there. Thinking of the cabin of the sailboat now. Okay, this mast. I'm going to go ahead and put this mast in. And I'm, I'm using my whole arm to make sure it's nice and straight. Every time I draw a straight line, I'm drawing, I'm keeping my whole forearm completely stiff and moving my whole arm to get that nice straight line. All right. All right, let's break this. Let's think of this shape. This shape of this boat back here also has a a block of wood if we had to. Okay, that's a good shape right there. And then let's get the cabin here. This cabin's kind of going straight back. There's the corner of that cabin. Alright, very similar, similar style boat in the very back distance here. Look at that, the cabin is like dead center. You see that? Let's get this next guy here. Now he, I have to adjust his position a little bit. I'm only thinking of shape. Lots of shape right now. And I think I'm going to, we don't have it in our picture here, but I, I, I really like the idea of, of some type of clouds coming in here. Okay, I'm going to go in here and add some details now.
just slowly working through each boat here. Oops. Just slowly working this in, trying to get some there's surface lines on the side of this boat. Give some nice tone there. Looking closely at that window in the picture. When I'm drawing my lines, I, I push and then pull. I start off lightly, push down, pull. You'll get a real nice uh, variation in that uh, in that line weight right there. Okay, I'm going to come up here and work on some of these trees here. First thing I do is drop a value in. using surface lines.
adding these buildings here and just kind of making them look square almost like just drawing cubes Even adding some tone to the sky to break it up a little bit. The background here, I'm not really thinking of what I'm drawing, but I'm more concerned with drawing shapes. And value. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's work some of these reflections in now. Just matching what I've got going above it. That's all I'm doing. And you keep it very loose.
I'm using surface lines to really think of this cloud and give it a lot of mass or volume. Just coming in and just keep keep working my values here. Keep going here. Okay. By adding darker values in certain areas, your eye will always go to the brightest, to the light. So <clears throat> But me adding a dark hole to the sailboat that's closest to us, it's going to drive us to uh, look to this powerboat right here.
I was looking for places that I could create a little more contrast. Okay, I think I'm going to I don't want to overwork this thing. I'm pretty happy with where it's at right now. I'm just kind of going around and adding some thicker lines. Makes it more illustrative than it does uh, realistic. Okay, <laughs> maybe, maybe I shouldn't have done this tonight. I'm kind of tired. <laughs> well, listen, that was a quick overview of this little uh, seaside harbor town. Uh, I hope that you uh, enjoy that. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And I think I'm going to call it a night, okay? My name's Kurt. I'm a dad who draws. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.